calf pain during or after walking slash running. We're going to show you five quick stretches at home, remedies to stop it. The older you get, the more important warm-ups yes, probably are. So, uh, you know, in your chair before you get out, you know, you're uh, getting ready to go, just do some simple ankle pumps. Um, but one thing to think about is pulling up is probably more important than pushing down because that's going to stretch the calves, the upper dorsiflexion. So you can go alternate it, go up and down, you know, 10 to 20 repetitions. A real simple stretch that anybody can do is, you know, the standard wall stretch. And the key about the wall stretch is uh, look at my foot. Don't let it point out to the septum. Tell myself, point it straight forward, lock my knee out and stretch, heels glued to the ground. Don't let this, you can let this happen, but. Yeah, you may want to do it both ways. Right. Do it with a knee straight yep. and with a knee bent. Yep. You're getting different muscles. You're, right. you're focusing on different yep. muscles. Well, you can actually go like this and come forward against the wall. If uh, there's a doorway here, I'm going to hold on to this. You can actually take the other leg and go through the doorway with it, and it'll really put some good stress yeah, on right that. Right in there. It, you're not going to do it bare, bare feet. No, you're going to use feet. Um, yeah, shoes. shoes really help. Use an incline board. It really works well. It's comfortable and uh, easy to do. Uh, and you just put your foot on there and stretch. You can buy these. You can make these. We have a video on how to make an incline board. Let your ankle go off like this and stretch. And do yeah, this I, one. I start off, yeah, I do this when I start out doing both at the same time. Yep, and like then this. I'll go, yep, then I'll go to one right. and put the extreme pressure on it. So yeah. now I'm going to start, same thing here, is I'm going to put the pressure on both legs to start off yep. with. I'm lifting my butt up and my arms up to put some pressure on the calves. Yep. So it's squishing the muscle. If you got some tightness in there, it's going to help relax that and break up those uh, trigger points. Yeah, now, what you, you really want to put extra stress on is you go with both of them. Massage those muscles. Yeah, Get in there and do a manual massage, and uh, you'll feel. Uh, and this usually feels good. The only thing about doing this, you know, you should do it for a few minutes, but your fingers typically right. wear out. Um, and you'll find, if you find a tender spot, like my calves are usually on the outside, I have a tight spot, and I feel it's tight, and it's tender both at the same time. So I'll work on that, you know, with my thumbs or my fingers. And I'll he's going to go across the fibers. Yep. The fibers run this way, yep. and he's going across the fibers and deep. Yeah. This is exactly the massage gun I use, actually. Mm -hmm. It's a smaller one that we sell, but it's really yep. powerful. Hey, I go back and forth, and... It actually doesn't feel too bad right now because I've already worked it this morning. And you got one of our traditional massages there. Yeah, this one's a little uh, a little bigger. It's got a little more travel on it, so it's a little more aggressive. But uh, the nice thing about this, because this is the one I have at home, my calf doesn't tolerate it very well, and that spot is telling you. So I turn the gun sideways, and then I can still get a really good massage. 